everybody, it's Jim with RV with the Tanners. And today I'm going to talk to you about a little portable power device from Schumacher. Uh, they sent me a brand new one. I'm going to show you my old one that I've had for about five or six years. It doesn't look as pretty as this one, so fortunately uh, Schumacher was helpful and sent me this one uh, on a loaner to show you how awesome this thing is. On this out front, it's a, basically a battery, so, and then it supplies power to any devices you realistically need it for. Uh, a little accessory on top here, it has a, a light. You can push the button in the middle to show you the percentage of charge. So I just charge it so it's at 100%. And then where the value starts to come in is where you start to provide AC power. So on the side here, I can turn the internal inverter on. And now these two plugs, these two 110 plugs are now hot. So I can supply AC power to devices that need to be charged, uh, brought up the lab, like maybe if you have a fan you want to run in your RV or something like that. The other two plugs on the side here are your cigarette lighter, 12 volt power. Uh, so you have uh, nice to have two of those options uh, here for you. You have one USB charger here. Uh, this will supply uh, power to an, an iPad or your phone, uh, anything of that nature that needs USB charging. On the side here is an on-off switch. So the, what this is going to do is it's going to energize the jump start uh, plugs on the back. So I'm going to turn this back off, but you'll see it's got about 12.9 volts going to that so you can jump start a vehicle. I'm going to turn it around back so you can see that. So the device here has two clamps. You would go to your power, your positive, then two negative, and then you could jump start your vehicle. Uh, this came in a very nice situation where uh, we were out camping and my son's battery went dead. Rather than to try to move my car over to his in a different site, we just carried this one over and I was uh, able to jump start his vehicle very easily. It's a nice safety precaution as well. One more feature it brings is a little air compressor. So it has the ability to, to pump up tires. Uh, I went outside and tested this the other day uh, on my same car, my son's car, it's a little Pathfinder. And it pumped up the tires in his car uh, very well. Uh, we've done it a couple times with my older one that I'll show you in a moment. Um, but it's nice to have all this in one device. Uh, we keep ours in the trailer. Uh, we also have one that we keep in my wife's car for when we commute back and forth. The last thing that it has, uh, well, I'm going to turn this on actually so you can actually hear this compressor. It's going to get a little loud here, folks, but I want you to get a full feel of how this feels. This is the compressor running, so it's starting to pressurize so you can pump up a flat tire. So you can see how that runs. It's a little noisy, but I mean, you got to give it a little credit. It's doing a lot of work here, uh, pumping up a tire and whatnot. So on this compressor, it also comes with a couple of accessories uh, that you could use. One of these little pins, this is where you would plug it into like a basketball or a football to inflate or deflate. And if you had like some swim toys, uh, like a little air mattress or something that was a very small capability to get it in uh, to the, the inflate mode, uh, it's a small little device that would actually allow you to pump that into uh, a blow up toy. Finally, what it has on the side and the back, so this is where the inflate, uh, this is where the air comes out. So if I push the button up, down earlier was for the compressor for the vet tires, up, is a little bit quieter. You'll hear I'm gonna turn on here in just a moment. And now you see that that's going. So what that's doing is, is pressing air out of here. And it comes with a nice little uh, uh, tube that you can use. You can either use a smaller one, the bigger one, or the full one. But on the side then, you can also plug in the same hose, plug it in, and then you can help deflate things. If you have a large air mattress, maybe someone's camping with you in a tent and they come with bigger and bigger air mattresses these days, this would be a great way to help deflate that. Finally on the back is where you charge this device. So it has just a little flip down device here. Uh, then you would plug your extension cord into this. The model that I have, you can see it's a little older. The design hasn't changed. I've had this one for six years. Uh, basically the same. Why, I mean, why change it? It works great. But on the back of mine, this is the one change that they've actually done. You can see, when I move that out of the way, the power right here is, this is the insert for the power before. And it came with a little wall wart. You plug it in and then it had a, a converter on that that would go into here and do the charging. The problem with that is if you lost that or if that was ever to break, you had to order a special one for this. With the way they've improved it now, it's just a, a, a power cord that you plug in. So you don't have to have anything special in order to charge this. Uh, if you'd ever like maybe had left uh, town and you left the charger at home, you'd have no way to charge this. Now with the capability that they've had just the cord on the side or the plug on the side, any extension cord can charge this. So that was a, a, a nice upgrade uh, I, that I wish I had on mine. 
So all in all, this is a really neat device. I'm gonna spin it back around for you to take a look, one final look at it. I'll show you the length one more time of the jump, jumper cables. So I put them on the back, put them away. So a neat device, uh, I'll put a link to it down below on how to pick it up on Amazon or some more information if you're interested. Uh, again, we use, we've been using that one for about six or seven years and it's just done a wonderful job for us uh, where we've needed power uh, and it wasn't available before. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them in the questions or the comments. Again, if you look down below, there's that little subscribe button. I'd love to see some more people click on that because uh, we're looking for some good subscriptions. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Again, put them in the comments and we'll look forward to talking to you in the future. Thanks.